and welcome to Bixpo 2021 Newsroom. I'm your host, Ji Hee Wan. With me this afternoon is Dr. Andrew Phillips, VP of APRIS Transmission and Distribution Infrastructure Sector. Dr. Phillips, welcome to the show. Welcome, thank you very much. Um, would you please introduce your organization uh, to our viewers? Sure, so I work for the Electric Power Research Institute. Um, we're a collaborative research organization based in the United States. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we do research for all of the utilities in the United States, but also for international utilities. Mm -hmm. So about 30% of our, of our members are international members. Who, and the idea is that people give us funding um, to do research and that we share the results with everybody. Mm -hmm. And so a small amount of money from multiple people can be leveraged to provide, make a difference for the whole of society mm -hmm. and, the, and the whole global society. Brilliant. Uh, so... As you know, this year's theme at Bixpo 2021 is carbon neutrality, yes. and the world has been slowly moving towards net zero. So how has this trend emerged in your country? What I mean by your country is South Africa and the United States. And the United States. All right, so I have two countries to think mm -hmm. about, South Africa and the United States. Maybe I'll start with the United States. Mm -hmm. So if we look at the United States, since 2005 to 2020, you know, we have reduced the amount of carbon in the United States by about 15%. Mm -hmm. But the goals that we've set ourselves by 2030, all right, is to decrease carbon even more about at about three times the pace mm -hmm. that, we, that we reduced. It. So we've got to reduce another 45%. And that is a really big thing that has to happen. And I think there are three key things for me that, that, that are going to have to happen and have to happen at a very accelerated pace. Mm -hmm. um, firstly, we have to, of course, build a, a lot of new renewables, solar and wind, mm -hmm. and also um, customer on the customer side, solar panels on people's houses and batteries. So that's one big thing that has to happen. Um, but doing that by itself is no, is no good. We need to have the transmission and distribution infrastructure mm -hmm. um, to, to do it. And that is a huge thing that has to happen. And then the final thing is customers need to embrace low carbon solutions. Electric transportation probably being the biggest, the biggest thing, but mm -hmm. also, um, you know, electricity for uh, electric solutions for heating and cooling, which today may use natural gas, and um, all of those things hinge on, on electricity. You know, you, all of them require electricity. So, I think that's one of the hugest things that are going to have to happen to us in the United States and worldwide is embracing electrification. So, in, in terms of the infrastructure, so do you think the infrastructure bill is going to help a lot? Because Biden called this week yes. the infrastructure week. Yes. So we have to. You know, I think everybody knows that we have to um, build on the foundation we've got. The transmission and distribution infrastructure that we've got is already, that is, can some places 80, 90 years old. Oh, wow. We are going to have to make sure that that can operate for another 50 years. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the foundation. But then the renewables that we're going to integrate are not close to where people live. Mm. And, and so we, they're, they're in the Midwest where there's a lot of wind. They may be in the sea, out at sea. Right. And so we're going to have to build a whole lot of new transmission as well. Mm -hmm. And the challenge of operating the existing infrastructure and mm -hmm. keeping it operating at the same time as building a lot of new infrastructure is going to be a challenge. They're doing those two things at the same time. Are you already working on it or do you already have an, uh, some, some, some sort of arrangement? So we have projects already that we've executed at Gochang. Mm -hmm. all right? And I'll give an example of that. Um, thinking about my home country, ESCOM in South Africa was building new 765 KV lines like mm -hmm. you have in Korea. And they were worried about how long the insulators would last. Mm. And so we said, well, where could we age them? And we took them to Gochang Test Facility. Oh, wow. And for three years, we aged them. The EPRI team designed the, the test and the aging process. Um, we also did the evaluation, but the, but the CAPCO team operated the test for us. And mm -hmm. together with, with, the, with South Africa, with a U.S. company called AAP, and with um, EPRI together, we all analyzed the results. And it changed what, people, what the design in South Africa was going to be. Oh, wow. So that place in Gochang sounds like a wonderful sandbox for global players all around the world. Absolutely. Hey? That facility is absolutely amazing. And the foresight you know, of building it, maintaining it, and making it a leading facility is amazing. You know, Sometimes we, by the time we need something, it's too late to start mm. building. But the good thing about Gochang is it was built you know, with, with foresight and mm. is, is ready now as we're going into this large expansion. Worldwide, we're going to have to build, if all countries are coming up with 
you know, carbon reduction goals. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have to build transmission and distribution. Mm -hmm. We need places like that. We need expertise like EPRI, and we need collaboration to solve those problems. That sounds brilliant. Um, so do you have any final thoughts you would like to share with our viewers, perhaps? Um, I, I think, firstly, that Kepco is an amazing company, mm -hmm. all right, and has a lot of foresight. And that foresight um, is making a difference not only for Korea, but is going to make a difference for the whole world and is going to influence how the whole world is thinking about um, lowering, lowering carbon emissions and, um, of course, from my perspective, um, impacting the design and the operation of the um, transmission and distribution grid and making sure that it's reliable and it's resilient and it's safe for everybody. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for watching.